Right, guys, so... Yeah, there's some of you out there that um, basically can't get on with the technical side of adding um, configuration files to your PS2 games. Um, these are n I've had a few people with backwards PlayStations, PS3s, which I sell to. So, look, um, if that you can't do, then I would advise that you try changing the emulator and... And what that means is, is that currently your backwards, backwards compatible PS3 is running um, the emulator that runs through the graphic synthesizer chip. But what you can do is go to pure emulation as well. And this actually has different compatibility. So some games that will work on the pure emulation may not work quite as well on the partial emulation. Okay, so the way to do this is to go into Webman Games, Webman Setup, PS3 Webman Setup. And then at the top here, it says scan of the content. Press this, take you to this page, and then you'll be greeted with this. And what you want to do is click this box here, which says PS2 Net and New, and then come down to the bottom and press Save. Just do that. Right, so once you've done that, you will click here to restart and your and your console will restart. Now, to run the new emulator on your backwards compatible system, you need to run it through Webman. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So currently I don't have anything installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is <coughs> using uh, Multiman. So we're going to get our disc and we're going to go for um, The Simpsons Hit and Run. So I'll have to just take out The Last of Us. And pop in this disc here. And I'll do all the usual stuff just to get the name of the game. Um, I've mentioned this, that if you don't get the name of the game, quit back to your XMB and check that you are online. I'm pretty sure I am, but I'll check it anyway. But sometimes I've spent ages on this and it's all because I wasn't online and it works a lot better if you are. So you can see that I am online. I will now just go pop back into Multiman. still not there <laughs> so what we will do is we'll just eject the disc this is the last thing you would need to do and then pop it back in there is a way of sticking it into multi-man mode and it's very reliable bringing up the name of the game but um, you do then need to do a complete reboot of your system um, afterwards anyway there it is I'm going to um, create the ISO to my internal drive 
And uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a moment when that's done, and then I'll discuss what we do next. Right, okay, so once it's done, you're confronted with this menu. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. And that is basically how you install the game. So once you've installed it, basically what you do now is you go to Webman Games or Webman Setup, PS3 Webman Setup. And what we want to do is we want to go to your refresh list on your game. So pop, just click games and then up here, click refresh. And then you will see the Simpsons hit and run. There it is, it comes up there. Um, so what we want to do now is just quit out of here. Reload the XMB menu. Go into Webman Games. There's your Simpsons hit and run. Now, when we play it from here, the first thing that will happen is it will automatically adjust your fan speed to 40%, which I highly recommend. The second thing you'll do is just press the X button, create memory cards if you need to. We'll just do that now. And we will play the game. So you'll know that you're using the new emulator by just simply pressing the middle button and coming to this menu. The first thing you'll notice, you'll be able to, it's slightly transparent, so you can see behind it. So where it says loading and the Simpsons, you can see all of that behind it, which you can't do on your other emulator. And also you've got the cell and RSX uh, temperatures in the top right corner there. So, Webman, I believe, also auto configures the files now. So that's what you need to do. Might be worth doing an update of Webman as well. Um, and the way you would do that, so basically, before you do any of that, if you haven't updated Webman for a while, I'll show you how to do that as well. It's in Webman setup. So just before we go to the web page, when we're in Webman Setup, I'll just show you what I mean. So if you're going to Webman Games, Webman Setup, and then under PS3 Webman Setup, scroll down until you find Update Webman Mod, and then just click the Install button. It will say it will need to download it etc etc um, so yeah that's it um, give that a try if you're having any issues running some of your PlayStation 2 games on your backward compatible semi partial emulation which is what a CECHC03 is so um, yeah if you've got any problems with PS2 games give that a try and uh, let me know how you get on thanks for watching